Hello everybody and welcome back to Frostpunk. Wow, things are bleak at the moment. Our hope is at an all-time low. Discontent at least is not too bad. Um, but right now we're dealing with an issue of a bunch of uh, fear mongers uh, saying that we are not going to make it. And they're, they're trying to convince people to return to London. So we're probably going to have to deal with the aftermath of that in this episode. Um, as long as just continuing to maintain balance between, you know, resource production and tech technology research. Um, I think I've been leaning very heavily into the research so far, and I don't know if we necessarily want to continue this this pace of research or not. Um, we do have 31 unemployed engineers, so that means we probably can afford to do a little bit more research. We are short on steel and wood, though. Uh, so that's necessary to take note of. Though I think we might as well be employing all the engineers we have to be researching. So why don't we spend some of this wood and steel on some more researches, research buildings. Um, we can include two more right here behind the other research complex buildings. All right, House of Prayer built. Houses of prayer have been erected, giving people a place to pray together and find comfort and faith. Okay, look, that brings up our hope just a little bit further. That's great. So let's look at these, uh, these churches that we've built. Passive effects. More than half of our people have access to a house of prayer. People feel a lot better living near a house of prayer. It reminds them about their higher purpose and gives them hope. Places in range. Okay. Good. Is there any active effect? Sermon. A short sermon will be delivered in places of wor worship. Hope will rise slightly. Let's go ahead and do that. So do I need to do that for each church? Nope. Okay, that automatically does it for both of them. So there's only a few houses that aren't in range of a uh, church. So that's great. We're getting hope back up. Heating problems, cold homes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about a low temperature in their homes. They are quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and ask you to address the problem. Oh, 24 hours to heat all homes. Let's heat all homes. Let's do it. Now we just need to see what it's going to take to heat all homes. Most of our homes are actually livable. Where are the homes that are not livable? Oh, there are, there are these ones on the outer ring. So there's only four homes that we need to heat that are too cold right now. That shouldn't be too bad. What are we currently researching? Bunkhouses. We already have access to Steam Hub. Is our range level already maxed out? It is. Range level 2. Um, okay. Well. Perhaps then, we can see about building a steam hub out here. We can get rid of the steam hub uh, when we don't need it anymore, when we upgrade our, our range upgrade. But for now, let's heat some homes and get some hope up. So we have two buildings producing steel, so steel shouldn't be a problem. We have one wall drill producing wood, and I think we also have a sawmill producing wood. Okay, so we should be fine for wood, and then as far as coal goes, we just have the one coal mine, that's it. We have another sawmill um, out here as well, just to be aware of. Um, okay, so I think coal production needs to be our next priority. Uh, we are waiting on the three steam cores to come back. We have 23 more hours, um, so basically in a day we'll get those steam cores. We can use them to build the remaining coal mines that we need on our map. Don't let the Londoners disrupt the city, remaining 18. Does that mean 18 days or there's 18 Londoners? Tendency is going up. I don't know what to do about that. I think we just need to get hope high and discontent low. I think we're doing good enough on food, so why don't I find a cookhouse? I'm trying to look for the cookhouse. 
here are all the hunters huts, here's the cookhouse. Instead of making soup, why don't we make standard meals? Standard meal. Maybe that'll make people a little happier? We will have to see. There's only 22 hours left of coal. That is actually concerning. So actually, even though it's nighttime, we need to address this problem as soon as possible. What are we going to do about our coal shortage here? We could build some coal thumpers in the meantime. I think we're going to have to. What I really want to do is build coal mines, but we need steam, steam cores to do that. We have three on the way, but those aren't getting there for a while. So for the time being, we could build a coal thumper or two. Where's our current coal, coal area? Is this our coal mine? Oops. No, this is our wall drill for wood. I want to put our thumpers near our coal mine. Okay. So I think we could probably have like two coal thumpers like right here. I know I'm overbuilding, um, but I'd rather be overbuilt than underbuilt. We really just want to make sure we're prepared for any calamity that befalls us. All right, we're going to go ahead and build two more coal thumpers and we can have our people work in there. Before too long, we're going to need to see about getting some, what was I going to say, some more medical tents. We don't want to be caught with not enough capacity for medical tents. And we have the engineers to spare. We still have 21 engineers we can put to work. So I think in this second tier of um, houses, we can go ahead and put some medical tents in. Somewhere nice where it's going to fit in easily. Yeah, I don't know about that. These churches are kind of awkward. They don't fit in with the rest of the houses. Oh well. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll fit in a medical tent here. Once it's built, we'll assign five more doctors. People join the Londoners. Sir, people who want to leave for London have successfully urged their friends and neighbors to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope in our ultimate survival. Well, excuse me. Excuse me. We are keeping homes warm, though, so when we succeed this mission, hopefully that should give us a big influx of hope. Uh, as, ter as far as coal production goes, we can add 10 people here to start working the coal thumper. These workplaces are chilly. Um, so we're probably going to want to put a heater there. We can add... 10 more there. We don't actually have any new workers coming in, so this medical post isn't going to have staff for it yet, but we can add the staff in later. I wish it was a little easier to pick out what you're looking for, like let's say I'm trying to find a medical post. Promise broken? You promised people warmth. You broke your promise. What are you talking about? We had all the, the homes warm. Oh, you know what it is? There's a temperature drop happening right now. And suddenly, this generator isn't enough. Okay, well, we are going to roll with it. Wow, we're going to have to roll with it. Jeez, that is bad. We have six people who are sick. I'm going to have to turn this to steam level two. And I should have had it this way the whole time. Get to work. Move. Oh boy. We have too many sick people too. K 
can't possibly hope to keep every, all of this heated. Though we can start heating homes individually now um, by improving their insulation. Bunk houses are researched. Our next research project needs to be, at this point, it needs to be heating. So we need to get drafting machines up and going. And then we need to get like generator upgrades for sure. Oh boy, that was brutal. That, that penalty we took to our hope. It almost brought us down to zero hope, which would have been really bad. I think we're going up on coal now. No, we're still going down. Even with the two extra coal thumpers. I don't know what's up with that. Oh. These coal thumpers come with coal piles that need to be separately kind of harvested. Okay. So this coal thumper will leave unstaffed. Okay, so now we should be doing better on coal. Seven hours more of coal, this is pretty bad. But we've researched drafting machines, so what we can research are seam hub range upgrades, that's pretty good. Generator efficiency upgrade, that would be really good. Improved heaters, overdrive, couplings. I really want power upgrade too and range upgrade too, but we can work on efficiency. I think efficiency will be important. And then five hours away. Only five more hours till we get our steam cores. We can make some more coal mines, which I think are better than these thumpers. These thumpers are really worker hungry. You need 10 to run the coal mine. And then you need another 15 to harvest the coal piles. We probably didn't need to build two coal thumpers had I known how, you know, worker hungry they were. Now this cookhouse is run running overtime. It's more than making up for all the, um, all the food we have. So I'm going to take a couple workers away from there and put them in our medical post because we are not getting through our sick more, uh, quickly enough. I'm going to go ahead and turn the speed up just a little bit. I think speed level 3 is far too fast for my comfort level, but speed level 2 seems about work, right? Now, the reason why we don't have room for all these um, for in our medical posts is actually because they're just too cold. I see. So we need to turn a heater on in our medical posts. And then we should be f doing fine. Okay. That's better. But now we're even shorter on coal. Three hours left of coal. Okay, so that bought us a little bit of time, but not a whole lot. We're gonna need a coal mine like immediately. Yep, I think we'll have another coal district over here. I think we'll build two coal mines right here and we'll move all those workers from the thumper into the coal mine. We need some roads. And we've already got roads going out here to the, the hunters district and I think we'll just kind of reuse these roads that we already have. We can probably run this road in here. Okay, let's get these up and going. We can send our scouting party back out. Um, American camp. Several big tents, no sign of life. A uh, flag flies over them, the American flag. Even from this distance, we couldn't mistake the stars and stripes. That's odd. I thought we were on the British Isles. We came from London. House of Prayer, the rebirth of faith. Sir, people have started to visit the House of Prayer. There aren't many of them yet but it might be the start of something special. It seems like they really needed a proper place of worship. I'm glad to hear that. Can we go here and make another sermon to ro rise um, our hope slightly? Not just yet, but soon. Okay. Uh, 
I don't know what's gonna happen with this coal, but it can't be good. I think we're gonna have to establish a 24-hour shift here. Emergency shift. Or we could just extend the working hours for this. I think we need an emergency shift here and here. It's just unfortunately something we're gonna have to do. We need the coal. We can't run out of coal in four hours. More importantly, we're gonna need our scouts to come back with uh, more more labor. We're running short on people. Refusal to work. A man assigned to an emergency shift has refused to work. He said that he's already worn out and he doesn't want to end up dead like one of his friends. So we could let him rest. The man won't do work for 24 hours. Discontent will rise slightly. Or we could tell him to get back to work. Discontent will rise more than slightly. But at least he'll be working. We'll tell him to get back to work. There's no exceptions. Once we start making exceptions for one person, then everybody will want an exception for themselves. I'm sorry, but we're, we're working around the clock to keep the generator running, my friend. So, I'm gonna actually take some engineers out of this building. A citizen has become gravely ill. The dangers of the cold. Frostbite. One of our citizens has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. Consider signing the radical treatment or sustain life law. Okay. Um, sustain life. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputations with radical treatment. The gravely ill will be kept alive, but untreated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. Discontent will rise slightly. The gravely ill will not be treated and will remain a burden. The gravely ill will take up beds in medical posts. Or we can go for radical treatment. We'll try everything to cure the gravely ill, from invasive surgery to amputations. The gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. 30% of the gravely ill treated in medical posts will be left as amputees. Discontent will rise slightly. We want to take drastic measures or do we want to play it more conservative with our gravely ill? Amputees are going to be kind of useless. Let's play it more conservative. Because I do remember there, um, there being like a special building you can build um, to take care of your gravely ill. Okay, now, as far as people's homes go, let's go to people, and let's upgrade a bunch of bunkhouses. Better insulation from the cold. Oh, that's using a lot of steel. That's good to know. We need an infirmary. I suppose that's better than letting them die. Yep. Yep, we're not going to let them die. We're not going to amputate their limbs. We're going to do our best to take care of them even if we have to be taking care of them for a really long time. Okay, now we have workers to put in here. Um, I had five engineers here and here. I don't think we can prioritize research right now. I think we need to prioritize coal mining. We can take our workers out of here. Oh, not out of the hunter's hut. My bad. Where's our um, thumper? We can take our workers out of the thumper and put them in the coal mines. Okay. This game is kind of hard to control. Okay, there we go. So now with three coal mines ho running, hopefully we should be fine. We can actually leave, leave these, these thumpers uh, without any workers. Okay, good. And we have this coal stockpiled here that we can do something about. Requires at least one worker. Storage limit is reached. Okay. Um, why don't I take five workers off of this and let's start getting through this coal pile. The Londoners gain more followers. Yikes. What can we do about that? We only have one hour of coal left. Okay, we're going to need extended shifts here. 
at the coal mine. People need to start working at 6 o'clock. Alright, perfect. I say perfect. It's not really perfect. Our coal is so in such a precarious situation right now. But here we go at 6 o'clock, and sure enough, we are getting people to these buildings to start working. We're going to need to start heating the workplaces or we're going to get a lot of ill people. And somehow we have 26 homeless. I don't know where this is coming from. Uh-oh, it's all those houses we upgraded. We probably shouldn't have started upgrading the ones closest to the generator. That wasn't a wise idea, but oh well. There we go. We have bunk houses that should be slightly warmer. 16 homeless now. Okay, we just need to finish building one more. Okay, coal is finally going up, which is exactly what we need to be doing. And wow, I don't know how discontent got so high. Controversial law, unpopular decisions, promises broken, emergency shifts. Okay, maybe I do understand. Generator efficiency upgrade research. From now on, the coal generator will burn 10% less coal. That is huge. That is huge. Improved heaters. Um, will raise the temperature of workplaces by two le levels. Each heater consumes two coal per hour when running. Um, I don't think we need that. Steam hub range upgrades could be good. Let's see what we have for food, health, and shelter. Something like an infirmary or healthcare insulation. All right, let's get healthcare insulation and then we'll get an infirmary. A steam heated infirmary with 10 beds. The sick are treated faster than a medical post and the gravely ill can be treated safely and reliably. Okay, we're gonna need an infirmary up and going, but let's start with just some better insulation. Oh wow, this is stressful. So we have one more steam core, and I'm not sure what we want to do with it. We could probably spend it on our infirmary. That's what we're going to need to save our last steam core for, is an infirmary. I do know what we want to do with it. Alright, we have another gravely ill citizen. That's not, not good to hear. Not good at all. I think eventually we want to get more automatons and we want them all to be working at these coal mines 24 hours around the clock then we just increase their efficiency okay healthcare insulation has been researched fantastic let's research oops um cookhouse insulation no infirmaries we need to get an infirmary up and going It's going to be important to have our infirmary somewhere kind of central, not too far from the generator. Scouts have reached the coal mine. Alright, what's going on here? The coal mine is automated, its engine is pressurized, but the mining has stopped. The snow around it is untrodden and an eerie silence hangs around the air. More coal than we can use. This coal mine was in operation until very recently. The machinery is running now. Uh, isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota or filled the loading bay. We could retrieve plenty of raw materials if we took the machinery apart. Okay, only take the stored coal or dismantle the machines for resources. We'll be able to restart the mine later. That's huge. Let's definitely take this option. We'll be able to restart the mine later. Only take the stored coal. Okay. Fantastic. Send an outpost team here to build an outpost. We're definitely going to want to look into that. Send an outpost team here to build an outpost. So we can build an outpost at Winterhome too. Okay, fascinating. Snow cliff. A tall snow cliff. There's a hole in it and it's inhabited. We can see a lone figure bustling about. Well, 
We need more manpower, and I don't think a lone figure is gonna cut it, but let's go see what this lone figure is, who he is, what he wants, what he's been doing, or she. see what's going on. Food for overtime work. Our people are becoming less and less committed to their work. Perhaps we should at least give them extra rations while they're sweating blood. Sweating blood on the emergency shifts. Jeez. From now on, emergency shifts will cost food, but hope will rise. <sighs> that is... Uh, you know what? I think the people deserve it. If they're going to be doing overtime shifts, they deserve extra food. I am in support of this decision. So these medical posts are now being heated to a livable temperature. That's exactly what we need. Perfect. And we're slowly climbing back from our coal deficit. I don't like this placing for this placement for a steam hub. I'm actually going to prefer to build bunk houses <coughs> on this outer place. Because these will be better insulated, and then we can deconstruct this, dismantle this steam hub. Alright people, let's get building these bunkhouses, and quickly, so you guys have a place to sleep. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, everyone has a place to sleep now. We'll continue building more bunkhouses um, as we go. Let's wait until morning. Let's let people sleep. And then let's build a couple more bunkhouses. We want to get every single tent upgraded to a bunkhouse. We'll start with these outer rings. We need more people. All right, we have reached the American camp. There's not a living soul in the camp. We have found about a dozen emancipated bodies. Oh, geez, Emanci oh, emaciated. I was going to say emancipated. That doesn't seem right. Emaciated bodies. Surprisingly, most of them were amputees fitted with prostheses. All right. The American camp was well supplied with everything except for food. Searching the tents, we found more victims of hunger. Most of them have badly worn out. Uh, but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol, Tesla Manufacturing. We can only bury them and take their equipment. Alright, we'll take some steel and a steam core. I think we need to push on. Temporary settlement. We see two rows of small wooden huts, but no smoke or other signs of life. All in all, it looks well kept, but temporary settlement. Alright, let's go ahead and send some scouts here. Push onwards. The Londoners are gaining more followers. How are we going to stop these Londoners, man? This run through might be a failure. I remember this game is not hard to lose. Not hard to lose at all. Okay, and the next workday starts. Going back to the coal mines. Bringing up our coal reserves. Can't keep skating by this this badly. Alright. How are our coal thumpers doing? Are we getting through this coal pile very quickly? No. We're only getting 1.2 coal per hour with the five engineers here. Well, it's better than nothing. We have more wood than we need. 
infirmary researched, build infirmaries to significantly improve healthcare. Okay, we have a steam core. Just right, uh, just ready for this infirmary. Now we just gotta find a nice place to put it. I say we build this infirmary over here in this kind of like working district, this industrial district. Right behind the child shelter and all the research places. Okay, great. We're going to want to heat this area, I think. Steam hub. Yeah, I think this will be an appropriate location for a steam hub. Like either here or here. It's hard to tell which buildings are are getting affected by the steam hub. I say here is an okay place for it. Alright, because we want to be able to treat our gravely ill. Our current efficiency at this stockpile is zero because all of our workers are ill. <laughs> okay. So that's another thing is we need to start heating all these workplaces. But that's going to cost a lot of coal that we don't have at the moment. I think we need to construct a resource depot for coal here. Yeah, I think we'll put one right there. And then I think we need some... Um... Okay, hello. I would like to build streets. There we go. Some more thumpers up and running, to be honest, but we need more people to run them. The Londoners prey on discontent. A few people are persuaded. A member of the Londoners is talking to a crowd. He's trying to scare as many as possible into joining the exodus to London, but his visions of doom ring in false ears, uh, ring false in ears of people who are content with the situation in the city. Um, all right, we could let him speak. We could ask a cleric to reassure the people, or we could disperse the crowd. Um, let's let's ask a cleric to reassure people. There's 43 Londoners. That's really bad. Oh boy. Yep, 43. That's um that's about a fifth of everybody in our colony. We're not researching any technology right now and we should be. So let's research cookhouse insulation. We don't have enough steel for it. Um Oh boy. You could probably get steam hub range upgrades too. That would be good. And improved heating ready. Scouts have reached the temporary settlement. All right, the settlement seems to have been abandoned. It consists of several tidy wooden shacks that are now completely empty. An upright boulder stands at its center. All right. At the center of the settlement is marked with an upright boulder on its roughly planed face, somebody chiseled in the following. May God forgive the genius who sacrificed human lives in the name of progress, for we can't. Exiles of Tesla City. We won't touch the monument, but we decided to dismantle the huts for wood. Alright, so we're taking wood and a steam core. And let's see where we can go. There's a walled colony. This might be that Tesla place, or there's a dreadnought landing. Along the shores of a frozen bay, we can see the outline of an enormous ship. The wide lanes of broken ice uh, leads to it from the west. I say we go to the walled colony, and then maybe, hopefully, there'll be some people there we can escort back. Okay. Discontent is finally kind of dropping down to a tolerable level. Have we built the infirmary yet? We have built the infirmary. So I'm going to actually take workers away from our medical posts and put them into our infirmary. I'd rather have the infirmary up and going than the medical posts up and going. We are still two workers short on the infirmary. 
And I think what's gonna go is probably one of our sawmills. Like this sawmill. Yeah, we just don't need it. There's only 277 more wood it can collect. So I'm gonna just... We need engineers working there though. I'm gonna take down two workers. I'm gonna find somewhere else we've employed engineers. I think there's engineers working the coal mines. There are engineers working the coal mines. We're gonna put in two workers there and then we're gonna fully staff the infirmary. Okay, this infirmary is at a comfortable temperature, so we're doing just fine. This needs to be set to coal, because it's right next to the coal mines. So we'll have a coal district over here, and we'll have a coal district over here. I think that'll be fine. Right now, what we're hurting for is steel. Alright, another event has popped up. Trouble with the Londoners, writing on the wall. Captain, someone is to face the walls with predictions of doom for the city. This is troubling. People already feel we'll share in winter fear that we'll share in winter home's fate, but the scared minds are swayed by even the smallest nudges. Okay, let's send a cleric to reassure the people. Um, and let's uh, see if we can adopt any new laws. So I just remembered that we actually have a new set of laws um, for purpose, which is our way of upping hope. So we have built houses of prayers. We can research evening prayers. We shall meet and pray together to warm not only our bodies, but also our souls after introducing this law. Um, new ability, evening prayers, house of prayer, temple. Each use raises hope and has a small chance of convincing Londoners to stay. Or we could build shrines. Shrines raise the hope of people working nearby. Shrines increase efficiency in nearby workplaces. That sounds really good. Let's start with evening prayers and let's get shrines up and going. They both sound great. Alright, we have reached the snow cliff. The hole in the snow cliff leads to a small chamber. Someone lives here, but the lonely human figure we saw from afar has disappeared. It might be the sole survivor of Winterhome. Alright. The man we've seen from afar was nowhere to be found. Searching his burrow, we found a diary of a scientist who fled Winterhome. After the starving city fell into chaos, its leader, an army captain, appointed himself the absolute ruler. He tried to impose order using force. Plenty of people, disgruntled, deserted the city, and most of others rebelled against him. Alright. We're gonna take this guy's resources? That doesn't seem right. Okay, we're taking meals, wood, and a steam core. All right, jeez. So we actually have a lot of resources with this scouting party, so I think we make one more stop and then we need to head back. Shrouded cave, we can see a faint wisp of smoke coming from a small patch of deep shadow at the base of a small hill. It must be an entrance to a cave, an inhabited cave. That sounds like people. We can see distant glimmers of sun reflected on the surface of water. Unfrozen water here points to the presence of fresh water springs. Okay, I say we go to the Shrouded Cave, Hope, hopefully we find some people, and then we head back. Alright. Fantastic. We'll get through the night, and then I think we're probably going to start wrapping up the episode here. The Londoners are continuing to gain more followers. This is not a good sign. We need to have a sermon again. To restore some hope. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, let's end it here. It's the following morning. We're going to get back to work. Um, and we really just need to start whittling down this number. Seems like the number is still rising, though not by much. I think it was like 47 last time we checked, and now it's only 49. So at least we're slowing the growth. I would like to start negating the growth. But for the time being, at least slowed growth is better. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I will see you next time.